everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you a couple of layouts that I made creating the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit um, using the Wayfarer Collection, which is our July collection. <clears throat> and I'm doing things a little different this month. So normally I keep the booklet intact, um, but I'm not this month. This month I am going to use, um, it works so perfectly with the vacation that we just had that I wanted to create a mini album, <clears throat> excuse me, which is gonna work really, really well. The whole theme and everything is gonna work perfect for our vacation. Um, but I know I'm gonna have a lot of pictures and I know I'm gonna wanna make it chunky and add a lot of layers and that in there. I'm probably gonna pull some vellum and wanna add some pages. And so in order to do that, I took the book apart, which is real simple. You just cut it down, cut it down the middle and cut the pages apart. And then um, you just punch holes. And then what I use, actually let me grab it. What I'm going to use is, what I have done before. And you can just get these from Amazon. They're just a clear, they don't have a really big ring or a wide ring on them, which means I don't really use them for planning uh, because I, I have a, a lot in my planner, so I like a big chunky ring. Um, but these work great for this kind of application to create a little mini album. So in, I think they come in a three pack. I just got them from Amazon. I can try and find the link and put it down below as well. But they work great for this because then the, the nice thing is too is if you're gonna have stuff that kind of sticks out or you wanna create um, different size pages in your booklet, you can do that with this because it is, it is more kind of an A5 size. So I like that, it's kind of fun. I could even add um, some of the beautiful patterned paper on here as a cover. Like how pretty would that be as a cover? So I can do that as well. So that's my intent with this. So I have already punched the holes in here. And the reason I did that on these pages is I wanted to make sure that my placement was correct as far as where I was gonna lay some of the embellishments. So what I did is I used a page that had this compass pattern paper. And this page just had the grid and I ran some of the washi tape along the top. So I have that pretty pattern up there. And I actually got three pictures on here. Um, I have the smaller one here and I just attached that with a staple. Um, before I attached that though, I kind of figured where the placement was gonna be. And then I added some of the rub on. So I actually have two of them here. You can see where I cut it out. So I added this rub on kind of behind and then I added the picture and I did it at a little bit of an angle. And part of the reason I did that is it's kind of a little design thing. At an angle, it kind of makes your eye go that way. The angle of the photo is directing your eye. So it's directing your eye back down over to this page. And then I layered in the kit, you get these beautiful foil, um, gold foil on vellum, little embellishments. And there was the little anchor. I don't know if you can see the gold foil on that. I ran one of the cute quotes and these are so fun and you get a ton of them. So there's a bunch of these uh, fun quotes on here in this great typewriter font. There's a couple of blank ones that you can use to add your own um, date or label or whatever you wanna add to your layout, but they have some great fun sayings on them. And um, I, so I layered that one here with the little anchor and I added a little bit of foam on that just to kind of raise it up. And then on this side, I added two photographs. I kind of tucked this one under this one and then added one of the larger little quote cards. And then I used the great stamping set and we're continuing on with this theme um, with, the, with the grid and it's a different grid from June. So just to, to be clear, we don't wanna repeat and give you the same grid every time. So that way you can mix and match everything. Um, and then it has all these <clears throat> great elements. Now I will say, make sure you check out my stamping video 
for July, and I give you some fun ideas on how to use this stamp set and how to layer it as well. But you can see what I did here, how I used it. I added the little anchor and I added one of the little tick boxes. And then I, I typed in and added, that's the other, let me stop from it. That's the other advantage to taking the booklet apart is you can actually run these pages through your printer. And so you can add your type directly to the page. And that's what I did here. I added my title and then I added my, um, my journaling. This little bit here, the nothing but blue skies, is actually from the rub-on sheet. So I add, that fit in there just perfect. So I added that little bit of rub-on. So that was really fun. And then I added another little rub-on here. And then that's the whole page. I mean, it was not super simple. I have three photographs on there and it's not cluttered at all. And I, I added this at the end. I just wanted a little bit more color on here and I wanted to kind of frame this picture a little bit by adding that little bit of color um, that matches the washi tape there. So that's why I added that little bit kind of at the end there. I decided I wanted, wanted that on there. So that is the first layout. Let me show you the next one. This one was super simple. Super, super, super easy. So I did a full, I printed out a photograph that is the full, uh, the full page. And then I used, and I adore these, I use them all the time, especially in my, um, my daisy planner as well. They are stickers, they have adhesive on the back, so they're super simple to use. So these alpha stickers, I just ran up the side of, um, of the photograph. So it says Barbados up the side, and it's just kind of a fun design element. It's bold, and to me, it kind of almost looks like a postcard that way. And then I added another one of those fun little quote cards, and this is one of the um, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards. So you get four of them. Look how cool this one is. I would totally, I'm gonna cut that off so it is an actual tag and insert that as an extra page in my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in my booklet. So that is gonna be a lot of fun. So the fourth one was this happiness comes in waves. And it's so perfect for this picture that I didn't really have to add. I thought, you know, I'm gonna add my journaling. Uh, there's a little cluster of embellishments at the top and that's it. I mean, this page came together, or this layout came together so quickly. And again, I was able to run it through my printer. I added um, the journaling on here. I added a couple of the fun die cuts. These are the die cuts we have this month are just so fun. They're so great for layering. I added a couple of those, and again, another one of the little foiled uh, vellum pieces. This one was a compass. And then on part of the little ticket die cut here, I, I stamped the word um, remember on there. So it just added a little bit, and then I just stapled stapled it down. So you have that little bit of black on there, which complements this and kind of frames that all really well too. So again, super simple, and that's why I love including these in the kit. They're great jumping off points, like this one that says summer bucket list. You could just add your journaling on each one, and then on this side you could add, you know, like let's say you've, you've done one or two of them, you could add the pictures for it, or you could add small pictures at the end of the summer for every one that you did do, which would be really, really cool. And you'd get a bunch of pictures on one page as well. Like I said, this one is gonna be so fun. And then you have the cute one with the little crab, which you could just put anything on that. You could add a photograph and your journaling. You could just run your journaling down the side. You could do a title in the middle of that. So a bunch of different things you could do with that. But they're great starting off points. The other thing I wanted to mention that is in the kit is this fun adhesive pocket. Um, I didn't have, um, the two layouts I did did not use this, but it will fit on one of the pages. And it's great for tucking in journaling. It's great for tucking in a bunch of photographs. If you have more than one that you wanna fit on a layout or on a spread, that works really well also. A fun thing that you could do if you're gonna do a booklet like I have here, is if you take a piece of vellum, 
because this is see-through. That's what's cool about this. You can't really tell because it's on a white background, but it is see-through. So I don't know if you can see that. So a fun thing to do would be to take a piece of vellum or um, a clear sheet of thin acrylic um, or an overlay of some sort and put that on that and create a page with it so it looks like it's floating. And then you can create a layer um, over your other page. So like let's, for, in for instance, if you, had, um, if you had a full page photograph like this, you could then either use a piece of vellum or an overlay, put this on it, and attach it, and it would look like it was floating over that picture. And then you could add either journaling, so you can see it would, you could add journaling or more pictures. It would be a really, really neat effect. So that would be a fun way to use. And now that I think of that, I'm going to do that. <laughs> it would be a fun way to use that as well. And then of course we have the rub-on sheet and all of the beautiful patterned papers. So those are the two layouts that I created using the July Wayfarer collection for the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit.